What's up Solana DGENs? Are you tired of minting projects that almost immediately dump or drain your wallet altogether? Do you just wish that the due diligence was easier, that the research was put right into your lap so that you could mint better projects? I'm here for you. This is Betterment Studios and I'm your host Lazy. In this video we'll be going over the projects that Betterment DAO is doing research into and looking to invest. At the end of the video I'll even tell you if Betterment is minting any of these projects or not. So make sure to stay tuned. Before we jump in, I think it's important to give you guys a brief rundown of what's going on in the Solana NFT marketplace. The current meta is branding. The projects that create a brand that appeals to many people across the whole world are the projects that succeed. But here's the other thing about the current Solana meta. Hype is no longer enough to cut it. Every day we see these projects with 300,000 Twitter followers. They mint, they pump, and then they dump. It's getting harder and harder to create a good NFT project. This meta is going towards utility based NFTs. It has been said ever since the beginning of NFTs that utility slash value in the project is what is going to make the project make you money. Up until now we've seen projects succeed only on hype. Our first project isn't very hyped at all, but they already have a successful Gen 1. And if you hold other NFTs and use staking platforms, you may have already heard of this project. It's none other than Ubik. The team develops staking platforms for NFT projects. The projects that are able to market to other NFT projects plus their own holders will be able to make it because that expands their customer base. So we already know that the team works hard and that they produce on what they say they're going to produce. The art from Gen 1, I was not that big a fan of, but Gen 2, the sneak peeks are looking pretty fire and I'm excited. Fitting into the upcoming meta, they have tons of utility in their NFTs. They are building out a whole metaverse and they already have a working game. It reminds me a lot of Stardew Valley and it's working. Keyword is it's working. A lot of projects come out with, hey, we're gonna have a play to earn but then nothing second they have an interactive map for the sheep and the avatars this is a project that says something and they deliver on it they have a proven track record Coming in at number two is a project that there is not a lot of info on. In fact, it is so early that I would consider this super alpha. We've got Space Warlocks. There may not be a lot of info, they do understand the importance of building a brand. And you can tell by their Twitter page as they will post visual representations of what their brand is all about. But at the same time, there's no words about what the brand is all about, but we can still tell Hey, this is Space Warlocks. This is what they're doing. It looks cool. I'm gonna ape in. Their Discord community is popping off. There are real people and they are not robots on there. They're following the latest trend of dividing the community into clans. They've got the Vision Clan, the Defense Clan, Healer, and Tech Clans. Competition is good in a community because it drives people to create fan art. You can release a competition between the clans and say, hey, whoever comes up with the best Twitter banner wins X amount of their native currency, then bam, you have people that want in. People are driven by the urge to make money or to be socially accepted. So the idea of dividing the community in the clans, making it so, hey, I'm a healer clan and so are my buddies, that makes people feel like they have a place in the world. The current Solana meta, a lot of the projects look very similar. The way to make a successful project is to create a collection that is sort of similar, but also very unique in its own right. Number three does this. They're called Weird Pals, and they aim to tie their community directly to the artwork. And that makes sense, because their art is very strange. Like, it reminds me of Adventure Time. It's very, like, cartoonish. They're creating an ecosystem for their community, a place to hang out, a place to belong but also a place with a place called the Weird Store. The Weird Store is going to be filled with in real life merchandise and in real life collectibles. I think that's a fairly good idea. NFT bobbleheads, who wouldn't want one? 
and they are making this weird store holder exclusive. And this whole version one of their roadmap culminates in if you have two weird pals, you can burn them together and then you'll have a weird friend, which will be an upgraded NFT. The projects that succeed are the ones that follow the given recipe, but do it a little bit different. It's just like anything. Think about cookies that your grandma makes. It's the same recipe as any other cookies, but she does it a little bit different. Researching NFTs and really staying on top of the game is not an easy thing to do. It takes a lot of your time and a lot of sleepless nights. If you guys appreciate me with my eyes wide open staring at the computer screen doing this research for you, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It would mean a lot to me fam. I love you guys for sure. The project coming in at number 4 is probably the project I am most excited for. This is a project that really understands that whatever they do has to reach out beyond the NFT space. They are not just creating an NFT project, they are creating a business, a brand, something that will reach far beyond the NFT space. Now there is money in the NFT space, but there is a lot more outside of it. Number 4 is none other than Spooked. Their branding, it all makes sense. It all fits together. In fact, they actually had the genius idea of giving away whitelists to people that use their branding in their social media posts. Now, projects do say, hey, retweet this and we'll give you this. But Spooked went above and beyond. They said, hey, use this branding and something that you actually create yourself to put our brand out there and you will be able to be part of this brand. And they actually lay down their core mission pretty efficiently. They say, our our core mission is to erase the lines between digital and physical world. We will achieve by building a global brand that will challenge the status quo with every new venture under the spooked umbrella. It all goes back to a thing I've been saying for a while now, if you've been watching my channel, is that the people that are able to bridge the metaverse with in real life are going to be the ones that make it long term. I mean, look at Famous Foxes. It's not completely in real life, but their brand actually has you utility has things that you can use your nft to give you access to like they have a twitter banner creator for their brand it's the more things that you could provide to your holders that they can actually do that they can actually type on a keyboard that they can touch that they can feel that will bring your brand to real life and spooked chose to create a fashion label there are a lot of projects that have the mission of creating a fashion label but with the current meta creating more and more hype it's really a bad it's game theory of who can actually come up with the best product. The last project we are going into is one that really understands reaching outside of the NFT space. We've got Suzanu. They are running in real life campaigns, in real life advertisements on digital billboards. Now this does a couple things. It onboards people that are not involved in the NFT space already to their project, as well as raises awareness in the general communities and really just makes them badass in general. How many NFT projects actually runs advertisements in real life? It's smart. I live in Los Angeles. I see billboards every day. And if I see something cool on one, I am more prone to get my phone out and look what it actually is. Susan who sees that and they're like, hey, let's actually do this because people will start looking into our project. Dollars spent into advertising is never wasted. We don't know much about the utility of Susanu, but I do have one thing for you guys, and that they are launching on Soulport. Soulport is from Tile Robotics. Do you know how hard it is to get on Soulport? It's actually fairly hard. They vet every project coming onto that launch pad, and it may be so early, but we do know that from their AMA, they are forging Web 2 collaborations. This means that brands that have already made it will be connected with Susanu. That means that people will be able to see Susanu and that they will be able to get their brand out there to a wider audience. Remember, reach outside of the NFT space, bring people in. That is the way. So I put all of these projects right on your plate. 
overloaded you with information. It wouldn't be right for me not to tell you which ones I am going into. First and foremost, if I can get into Great Goats, I am for sure going to mint that one. I don't think it's possible I will get Great Goats, but if I can, I will definitely mint it. As well as Ubik. Ubik has a proven track record and I am excited to get into their brand with better artwork. Did I mention they have a game developed already? So yeah, I'm going to mint that one. I am 100% going to mint Spooked if they build accordingly and everything is copacetic up until mint time. As I do feel like that is one that will explode in real life and in the metaverse. I don't grind for whitelist. If I get them from giveaways, cool, I've got a whitelist. But... I do think that I am gonna grind for Suzanu, as their in real life advertisements really has me sold. If they have the money to spend on this project, then imagine what they have the money to develop. As with all of these projects, you really have to keep an eye on them in their Discord and see how they develop on a day to day basis, see how they treat their community, see what their team is like before you make the decision of minting these projects. I hope we were able to provide enough information to keep you guys updated about the NFL marketplace on Solana. If you really like the content, you can click subscribe, you know, be able to see these videos when they drop. Keep updated on Alpha and Mint projects with us. Once again, my name's Lazy and this is Betterment Studios, where we aim to mint better projects.